The internet is full of bro science, fake knowledge, half information or propaganda. Your quest of reliable, authentic health information ends here. So subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon and you never have to go anywhere else ever again. Hello everyone, how are you today? I'm Dr. Paramjeet and you're watching Dr. Education. Welcome back to my channel and today we are going to talk about tinnitus. Yes, you have heard that ringing sound in your ear sometime or the other. Everyone actually has heard that tingling or some sound in their ears and you must have thought, okay, it's something like some air is leaking somewhere, air is escaping or maybe there is some water running, maybe there is some seashell blowing or maybe there is a musical note which is going on somewhere but you are hearing some sound in your ear that is tinnitus which actually nobody else is hearing but you so if you have ever heard that sound or you might be hearing that right now you have tinnitus right so what is tinnitus and what happens why do you get all this tinnitus and what causes it and how can you take care of it we will be talking about that today let's talk about it okay tinnitus hearing noises in your ears right so most of the times there is no outside source of that sound obviously that's why it is uh, something to talk about all right and uh, this ringing in the ears like i said it can be blowing a blowing sound roaring sound buzzing sound hissing sound humming sound whistling or a sizzling sound all right so it might be soft it might be loud and uh, you might feel a lot of things about it but uh, it is there and it is very common and everyone notices some my at least a mild form of tinnitus once in a while and that's uh, can last over a few minutes sometimes it can be triggered by a tight slap or something like that but it happens right however if you are having it constantly for a long time or recurrent recurrently a uh, repeated amount of number of times then that can be uh, that can be very stressful for you and it can make your life very busy very very difficult it can make it hard to focus That's, and even uh, difficult to sleep right so remember it is a subjective thing uh, it might be subjective or objective uh, subjective means which means that the sound is only heard by you and only you objective means that a sound which is heard by you as well as by uh, somebody else like an examiner using uh, with like a doctor using a stethoscope near the near your ear or your head or neck in that case that sound might be heard by uh, a doctor as well which in that case it is objective yes it is objective means there is something which is causing that sound inside right so what are the causes what are the causes right that's the important question uh, see Many times the cause is unknown that what is causing uh, the sound but the uh, symptom tinnitus can be present because of some actual reason. What is like uh, some ear problem? What ear problems? Number one ear infections. Number two a foreign body or a wax in the ear impacted in the ear. If that is there that can lead to a sound. Now then hearing loss if you have hearing loss then you might just hear some or some kind of noise right that there is some called something called as uh, inner ear disease which is Meniere's disease which involves hearing loss as well as dizziness you, you might feel dizzy you might have uh, even syncopal attacks right then problems of that eustachian tube which connects your ear to your throat <coughs> that tube can uh, the problems having that uh, in that tube can also lead to tinnitus now all these things can lead to tinnitus as well as some antibiotic like uh, and some medicines like aspirin or other drugs can also cause ear noises and as well as some there are some things like alcohol or uh, uh, caffeine coffee smoke smoking they can make these noises worse if the person already has it right that's a difficult thing and sometimes tinnitus is actually a sign of high blood pressure also or maybe an allergy or maybe even anemia low blood right low hemoglobin this can be a reason and 
Sometimes, very very rarely, it can be a sign of a serious problem like a tumor or a aneurysm. Aneurysm is like uh, swelling in the blood vessel somewhere, right? In the blood vessel. All right. Then there are other um, factors which uh, can have more risk factors of tendinitis, like uh, TM joint disorders, tympano mandibular joint disorders, diabetes, thyroid problem, obesity and uh, head injury if you have these in the past or you have them then it's possible you might uh, feel tinnitus once in a while and um, it is a common thing for war veterans to have tinnitus or older adults in uh, the age past 65 uh, or older they might have more common occurrence of tinnitus even ch but children can also have them children can also be affected and especially those children who have some or severe hearing loss so what can you do what can be done obviously see most commonly uh, tinnitus is uh, noticeable when you go to bed at time because obviously surrounding is quieter then you actually notice the sound so to mask that tinnitus and make it less irritating a background noise can be used right so what can be used you can use a white noise machine that is white noise white noise machine which can mask the tinnitus choking you so you can sleep and you can get your rest because it can be very difficult for a person who has continuous tinnitus to sleep right although it will it won't kill you but not resting will definitely make some damages serious damages right and um, then you can run a humidifier or a dishwasher or something like that so that that noise can actually mask this noise right right uh, so what else can you do you can actually uh, prevent tinnitus how can you prevent or uh, you can take care of yourself uh, first thing obviously you can uh, learn how to uh, relax learn ways how to relax uh, stress is one of the big causes of uh, or which increases tinnitus so whenever you feel stressed or anxious you can uh, go for yoga deep breathing relaxation exercise sleeping eating drinking water all these things help avoid things that make tinnitus worse like alcohol caffeine smoking obviously enough rest is important sleeping is very important and you need to try to sleep with your head propped up in an elevated position so you keep one or two pillows below right propped up head propped up right propped up that way head so this basically it uh, decreases lessens the head congestion and can make the noise less noticeable and you can protect your ears and uh, your hearing from further damage by uh, this particular thing then uh, if you have, uh, uh, you can wear ear protections like ear plug plugs if you need them, right? And uh, then uh, you can actually play some noise around you while sleeping that can help. And if at all uh, you have a head injury, history of head injury, if the noise is or uh, the symptom actually increases, you have dizziness, feeling of um, uh, imbalance, nausea, vomiting, then you have to go to the doctor, right? You have to go to a ENT specialist for further evaluation for finding the reason of that particular thing. Like I said, there can be reasons, right, which can be corrected, right? And uh, if uh, uh, there is an unexplained ear noise that bothers you, even after you have tried all these things, you can still go to the doctor. And if the noise is only in one year and it continues for several weeks, single year for several weeks, still you need to go to a doctor, right? That is important. And the doctor will do a few tests. Obviously, your uh, hearing loss test audiometry will be done both the years. Your uh, CT of your head will be done. Uh, MRI can be done. Uh, angiography may, might be done for your blood vessels. Obviously, ear examination will be done. And the treatment is to fix the problem if it can be found, obviously. So, evaluation is needed to find the problem. Uh, but the objective is to make the symptom go away. And if there is, if it can be done just by... If, if it can be done just by uh, removing earwax, then it's well and good, right? But if there is another cause like a TM joint problem, then a dentist might have to be involved. Home exercises or uh, might be done clenching treat or grinding can, can actually help a little time. So that is one important thing 
right <coughs> then uh, your doctor can also use many medicines to actually see what is the problem maybe over the counter medicines like some drugs vitamins supplements can be used right or if you are taking these kind of things so you have to tell these things to the doctor maybe some of something might be causing you the problem and tinnitus can be relieved by a few medicines which are available in the market so your doctor will give you that medicines and uh, but to remember no drug works for everyone so it's uh, it would be a trial trial and error kind of a thing so uh, there are some tinnitus mark masker which can be worn on the uh, ear which can help some people it actually delivers a very low sound directly into the ear to cover the ear noise and a hearing aid can also help if there is a noise which is uh, obviously if there is a hearing loss which can do the bo- both the things it can cover hearing loss as well as tinnitus as well counseling can be needed if you actually have a lot of tinnitus and what of stress because of it right then uh, then there are some uh, 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 you know other methods which are available alternative methods which are not proven yet so you should not go for all those uh, methods which are propagated on the internet so make sure to talk to your doctor make if if you have tinnitus the best doctor for you is an ENT specialist right ENT ear nose throat specialist so that's all of the information you need about tinnitus about noise in the ear ear buzz which is also called so make sure to share this information i'll see you next time stay connected and stay healthy